If you've been following this, uh, Pentax has been working on a film camera for some time. In December, Pentax, uh, which is now a division of Ricoh, offered up some specifics uh, saying that it would be a half-frame camera. Well, today, which is June 17th, Pentax released more information, including the expected price and some, uh, some, some of the specifications of the camera. This camera, with images that have been floating around the, on the internet for, for about a week or so, uh, sh shows that it will, in fact, be a half-frame camera. It will have a 25mm lens, which is f3.5. It says it's equivalent to 37mm in 35mm format. So keep that in mind. Often, we think of as a uh, half frame as being, uh, well, 0.5x, so the lens factor would be uh, double whatever the marked lens is. In any case, uh, this is going to be a 25 millimeter lens, uh, f3.5, and um, most assuredly, it's going to be, they didn't really mention, but I don't see how it can be anything other than a leaf shutter. Well, I guess you could put a... Um, guess you could put a uh, focal plane shutter in there. From a cost manufacturing standpoint, it would make much more sense to, to uh, use a leaf shutter. Let's take a look and see if it's available now. Oh, and what do you know? Here it is. We're here at B&H Photo Video up in New York, and it looks like you can already pre-order this. And they have quite a few photos of it. So let's take a look at the bottom. So the bottom looks fairly traditional. Here's a rewind button here. Let's look at the front of the camera. In the back of the camera, here's your little uh, film box holder. I'm not sure what this little button is. How about the top deck? So the top deck is uh, fairly, uh, there's a lot going on on the top deck, right? So you have your ISO speed, from left to right, you have your ISO speed setting. There's a little button above that, perhaps. That's probably a lock, a locking switch. Or a, a locking, or it's probably a button to lock the dial. To the immediate right of the ISO dial is an exposure compensation uh, mark. And then um, next to that, you have the branding. You have Pentax and then AOC, AOCO, which is not, of course, the... Uh, Congress, uh, Congress, Congresswoman out of New York, but in fact is stands for uh, Asahi Optical Company or Corporation. Underneath that says film camera, and then you have your small little indicator which indicates the film plane. Um, to the right of that is the mode me is the mode selection dial. It looks like you have auto P for program. Uh, I see a flash setting, and then I ha see several other uh, settings. I'm not sure why some are in gold and why some are in white. Perhaps we'll be able to explain that. Um, to the up to the upper right of that, looks like there's an on-off switch for the camera, plus a plus the shutter release and a very tiny film advance knob or film advance lever. And then to the extreme right, you can see the frame counter. Now beyond that, if you look at the front of the lens or at the top front, looking down from the top of the camera onto the lens, you can see the various uh, uh, focus settings. Remember, this will be scale focus or zone focus. So you have your mountain, then you have large group of people, then you have a small group of people, then you have a portrait, then you have what looks to be a knife and fork, and finally a flower. Well, let's take a look at some of these other photos. Hmm. Here's the inside of the camera. It doesn't really indicate what type of shutter it's going to be. I still think it's going to be some type of leaf shutter. Here's your battery. It takes a CR2. I, I think it would have been much better if they uh, incorporated a... a uh, one of the one, two, three lithiums. I think they have better life, but that's that. And so that'll be under your uh, your hand grip. Uh, here is the small cable. Here's that small cable that's used to uh, control to control the B setting. I don't know if that's a remote release as well. And here's the camera with this uh, lens cap. So here it is. Uh, here's the back of the camera. That's that little film minder um, uh, holder. 
mentioned that's been on cameras for like forever. And let's see what else B&H says about this. Oh, this is pretty much just a repeat of the, this is pretty much just a repeat of what I um, mentioned. Let's take a look at the specs, focal length, form, film format, lens, exposure control, viewfinder flash. Um, environmental protection, I don't know what that means. Self timer, no self timer, optical viewfinder. Uh, this is going to use, it's going to have bright line frames. Uh, the, that's otherwise known as an Albeda viewfinder. So the Albeda viewfinder actually goes back decades and decades. Film not included. Um, and so that's about it. Looks like it goes on sale, oh, June 19th. So pretty darn fast here. All right, so there's some photos and there's some more information uh, about the camera. So if you're interested, you should be able to get it from most major retailers. Uh, you know, you could probably do it either mail order or you can stop in and uh, purchase it by yourself or purchase it, um, purchase it yourself in person. Certainly more to come about this camera.